Hello again, this time we're going to learn how we can select and display data from our table. Now, uh, I'll go through this quickly, I'm doing the usual connection process with username, password and you know the, ser the server address or the host name. Uh, the usual MySQL Connect, I'm just hiding the detail. In fact, there's no need for me to hide it because in this video I'm using a user called Chris with a password Chris2014 that I created before, so I'm not using my, my root password here because I'm only connecting, so user Chris has permission just to display and connect, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, to select something from, from the table. The usual connection process, the usual data space selection process with these debugging uh, messages, you can remove them if you want. I'll jump straight into how we can we select something, I don't know why I have it deleted here, I just need to see it has been se selected, successfully not deleted here. Anyway, um, now to select something from a table, it's the usual select statement select and then I provide the column names that I want to select and remember if you want to select everything you just say star and that will select all the columns but we'll leave it for the four, four column names that we have for our table and then provide the keyword from and specify which table I want to select from it's a table that we created before which I named my table as you can see here now select student ID student F name L name date of birth and from my table now we run the query and then we check whether it's been successful or not the usual way as we did here for insert and for create and stuff like that and now uh, the data now can be accessed this way we have this beautiful function called mysql fetch array which takes the, uh, the syntax is like this uh, you provide it with that reserved keyword reserved value mysql uh, ASSOC for as association what that does is it gives us the results in a sort of like a matrix or an array and what we can do is we can call the values using the column names from the result array or from the, from the result set so notice here uh, while row you know from that from that if that has if the array that this function returns still has any data save that record or that data in a variable called row and then echo I'm using this just a string student ID and then call that call the column by name get the value of that column by name so give me the value in that row now in that particular row now give me the value of column student ID give me the value of column um, student name, get me the value of column student L name, F name, L name, I'm sorry, and get me the value of student DOB date of birth. Hope this makes sense. I'm using string concatenation here. I'm trying to display things, you know, every record or every row, the, the values in that row in, se in separate uh, rows, and then I'll um, separate every record or every row using these, you know, this, this kind of uh, 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 line or ruler, if you like. Now, enough talking, let me save this I've, uh, behind the, behind the, uh, the screen or oh, behind your backs. I have created this file and m made it executable the usual way. So let me clear the screen and then run the select file. I, I named it uh, select as you can see. And now we have fetched data successfully, but there's nothing to display. And the reason is because that I have emptied the table. Uh, I wanted to show you something. When we inserted data, if you remember, we used this way to insert multiple rows at the same time if I run it again, if I run select again and by the way I'm in select here I'm using my root, root password and username I'm just hiding it there at the top somewhere there but if I execute insert and it happily tells me data has been inserted successfully and then I do select again you notice that it's displaying what I wanted it to display with the user IDs, first names, last names but the date so shows as all zeros and the reason is that even for the date I need to specify the quotations as you can see but now I need to of course add the quotations and then add the escape which are which is the backslash so my sequel doesn't think that the quotation mark is part of it is just a way of telling it this value I would only take what's in between these quotation marks now I'll save that and then uh, do insert again I just insert you same the same people but now hopefully if I select again 
I will get the previous ones because these are still in the table but now I'm getting the um, um, the, the correct data or the, the correct date of birth now if you notice the ID the table was empty and but when we insert data ID started from 14 because that ID if you remember that field or that column is auto increment and MySQL still remembers where we stopped even though I've actually deleted those rows before but it still remembers where we stopped now if even if we delete these rows um, and insert again it will start from 20 rather than 19 hope this makes sense now to, to delete something from the table you only use delete from table da, da da and then you provide the data the usual way you do delete I don't think I'm going to show it now I think it's pretty straightforward whatever you can do here with the select or with the insert you can easily do that with the delete if you want to learn how the delete works go back to my uh, SQL tutorial I have a, a lengthy my SQL tutorial from command line now where you can where I show you how not not from scripts I show you how to connect to my SQL server from command line and then execute all these commands where you can you know add create table drop or remove table add data uh, you know insert data select data remove data delete data uh, and everything that you need to learn to become familiar with my SQL have a look at that maybe if you want to learn how to do uh, delete otherwise thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you next time